Jackie Onassis wore her blood-stained pink suit to Lyndon B. Johnson's crisis confirming as president altogether to disgrace him, as indicated by reports from the as-of-late discharged JFK death documents. Lyndon B. Johnson's significant other more than once endeavored to roll out Jackie Onassis' improvement out of her blood-stained garments, yet JFK's dowager was sending everybody a message by remaining by LBJ in her now notable pink fleece suit, shrouded in her better half's blood. I need them to perceive what they've done to Jack, the lamenting Onassis purportedly stated, before wearing the blood-stained pink suit for the following 24 hours. The pink suit has since had its spot and form and also American political history. It has showed up in various movies and TV appears about the Kennedys, and the first blood-stained suit has now been put in the National Archives in Maryland, where it will wind up plainly accessible to the general population for review in, sit tight for it, 2103. The interest with Jackie Onassis isn't going anyplace. Be that as it may, if the slime ball media of the day brimming with CIA-planted columnists, had their direction, the previous first lady would have been digitally embellished from history. They declined to distribute anything that may have driven the general population to trust Onassis was lamenting her better half while remaining alongside the man who requested the hit, the new leader of the United States. Rather the prevailing press authored the term trick scholar, an affront used to spread anyone who scrutinized the official story. The spread is as yet used right up till today. Jackie Onassis recognized what Johnson was and what he had done. JFK didn't conceal who their adversaries were from her. She knew who designed the hit, preparing the deep state to take out her better half and arrange an overthrow that moved LBJ into the Oval Office. The issue is that America's adversaries were so solidly and profoundly dug in the government framework, where they stay right up till today that Jackie Onassis challenged not opened her mouth out in the open. Her capable challenge needed to stay representative, generally her kids would have been vagrants, 